the idea of Africa splitting into two parts and creating a new ocean has fascinated scientists and researchers for decades. Now, with the help of advanced technology, such as GPS tracking and seismic data analysis, this theory has been given more credibility. The process of splitting of plates began with the formation of the East African Rift, a 56-kilometer-long crack in the deserts of Ethiopia that started to form around in 2005. This rift is the edge of three tectonic plates, the African Nubian, African Somali, and Arabian plates, that have been slowly drifting apart for millions of years. Recent research published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters has shown that the formation of the rift is due to tectonic processes, similar to those found at the bottom of the ocean. This has led scientists to believe that the rift could eventually become an ocean. GPS tracking has revealed that ground movements between these tectonic plates have been occurring continuously at different rates, with the Arabian plate moving away from Africa at a rate of one inch per year. This indicates that the process of splitting is still ongoing and could eventually lead to the formation of a new ocean. If this were to happen, it would have a significant impact on the African continent, with landlocked countries such as Uganda and Zambia suddenly gaining coastlines. The Red Sea and Gulf of Aden would flood the Afar region and the East African Rift Valley, creating a new ocean and a separate continent. The Earth's crust is made up of between 15 and 20 tectonic plates that move gradually atop the molten magma mantle below. These movements can cause the plates to drift apart press into one another, or split in two over millions and millions of years, which is the reason for the ancient continent of Pangaea breaking up 250 million years ago, and forming the continents we know today. Different rifts move at different rates, with some plates moving apart from each other faster than others. The East African rift formed 30 million years ago, and its spreading is very slow. Normally, a true oceanic basin with ocean floor forms after about 300 to 400 kilometers of extension, which, with the current rates, may take another 10 million years or more. However, in other cases, such as in the Central Atlantic Ocean, it took less than 15 million years to oceanize. The process of the formation of this new ocean will depend entirely on how fast the rifting of the plates occurs. Dauer van Hinsbergen, the chair in global tectonics and paleogeography at Utrecht University in the Netherlands said, the East African rift has long been recognized as a rift that may develop into an ocean like the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden have done before. Scientists use signals transmitted from satellites to GPS receivers on land to measure plate movements and elevation changes. Cynthia Ebbinger, a plate tectonics professor at Tulane University, Louisiana, says that geologists use these measurements to predict where plates will be in 1 million years, or 5 million years from now. The general motions of the plates are predicted using global measurements from GPS and other space-based observations, which represent an instantaneous motion, at least in terms of very slow geological processes. John Long, a strategic professor in paleontology at Flinders University in Australia, said, based on tectonic spreading rates in East Africa that vary for 0.5 to 1 cm per year, to open up a large enough rift to allow an ocean to come in, even a narrow one, say 5 km wide, would take between 50,000 to 100,000 years coupled with what we know about sea levels rising. If seas rise by up to 0.7 meters in the next 100 years, or by 20 to 30 meters in the next 500 years, with melting ice caps caused by the warming climate, it would happen much sooner. If the East African Rift did eventually become an ocean, it would have a significant impact on the geography and ecology of the continent we know today. Areas below sea level that are connected to the oceans will flood with seawater, which will also impact the wildlife that lives in those areas. Already, the Tanganyika Rift has lake basins that lie below sea level, but they are filled by freshwater. Additionally, the parts of Africa to the east of the rift, including Somalia and other countries on the Horn of Africa, will shift further eastwards, eventually colliding with Asia. The movement of tectonic plates is a slow but continuous process, driven by the motion of hot magma in the Earth's mantle. Over millions of years, this movement can result in significant changes to the layout of continents and oceans. 
Through the study of tectonic plates and their movements, scientists can gain insights into the geological history of our planet, as well as the mechanisms that drive earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and other geological phenomena. This knowledge can be used to better understand and predict natural disasters, as well as to inform the development of more sustainable and resilient infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.